and welcome back everybody Aesop Grimm here this is the continuation of our Skyrim Chronicle and um, I discovered what was causing the I guess lockup that I had and it seems to be whenever I ask Feindal to train so maybe that has to do with the location we're in Maybe there's a threat out here that I don't know about, so we're kind of technically in combat. But anyway, I came back up here. I just had to clear this upper area. I went ahead and looted everything and stored it in my horse. My horse's saddle, saddlebags there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and run this dungeon. I'm going to set my timer, but we're going to, I think, complete the dungeon run in this episode, regardless of how long it takes. Assuming no crashes. Okay, so here we go. That, oh man, I got really lucky there. I think I got really lucky. I just started bashing on him. Oh, that's the bandit chief. I think we've really officially completed this quest. Okay, we got some things we can loot. Ah, oh, it goes further. No, no, it doesn't. Mechanism too complex. Oh, there's a like a prisoner in here or something. Okay, well, I'm not gonna even try for that. Uh, let's look and see if I got upgrades. Well, there's a warhammer, of course. Let's let's put the two handers. Uh, let's just store the two handers momentarily. Okay, dwarven sword of absorption, dwarven warhammer. Store that. Iron Sword of Frost is a one-hander. Uh, Staff is a two-hander. Steel Battle Axe, that's a two-hander, I believe. And Steel Great Sword. Okay, I do not think I have an upgraded weapon. No, I don't. Okay, what about armor? No. Gauntlet, shield, helmet, boots, pauldrons. Okay, no upgrades. Uh, I nearly died there. Uh, can't say that was the best performance. That guy was blocking pretty well. I really need to be getting poisons. I know that my idea was to cut them, get the poison going, and uh, play for time. You know, damage over time. I've got time, I've got a shield, and I can dance away from their strikes. They don't have time. And I've uh, not really done, I've not been very consistent in that. Let's store what I can 
I do want to make sure I take the potions back. Okay. Well, let's go turn this quest in then. We need to sell the loot that we got. And it does look like we're going to be dealing with some missing textures. That's not paint, is it? I'm sure that's a missing texture. Yeah, they are. Those are missing textures. That might be... an SMIM issue. Maybe I need to reinstall SMIM. It's possible that I had a mod that overwrote SMEM in some of these areas and then replaced that mod with something else that did not. And so now we have missing textures. I'm thinking that might be how that breaks down. I thought I saw an arrow. Here it is. Uh, gotcha. <laughs> All right. Iron arrow. All that effort for an iron arrow. Okay, so we're going to go back this way. That quest marker there, that uh, that should be inside the Jarl's longhouse. I'm assuming this was caused by a dragon, but there's fire mages out here too. But I'm kind of thinking that this is showing us like our character is not supposed to know no wait we've already seen a dragon we had to report it to the Jarl of Whiterun well so I'm thinking with the uh, not so short main quest maybe they put little things in there like that that you come across increasingly as you get closer to the level that you can start fighting dragons and become dragonborn. What unfortunate thing befell this man? Bandit outlaw. Look, Feindal, this horse has no owner anymore. He lies here. You can legally take this horse. And you should. Well, alrighty then. You know, free will and all that. It is your choice. Fain Dahl, I would say Fain Dahl's probably got much better cardio than we do, but we're a doggone orc. Nobody's got better cardio than we do. Maybe a red guard? I need to be using that power. Oh, that's right. I don't think my uh, orc power has anything to do with endurance necessarily. That's, that is a red guard trait. I think my orc power has to do with reducing damage taken and increasing damage going out. I totally, I have not used that at all and I need to remedy that. <laughs> I 
perhaps a quick save would be prudent. I'm relearning Skyrim, obviously, and one of the things I'm relearning is you never know what's lurking around the corner. You should be quick saving, like, fairly often, I assume, is the standard protocol. I think that's what the protocol was back when I was playing regularly. We should make a pit stop here and sell stuff. Hopefully I remember at the end of the episode I want to try and get uh, Fangdahl to train. Okay. At some point in time... <laughs> What? Oh. This is the last time I'll say it. Get out. Oh, it must not. We must be after hours. <laughs> it's 2 p.m. You're not supposed to be here. What is going on here? Last warning. You're not supposed to be in here. Guards! Trespasser! You're not supposed to be in here. That's close enough. Five bounty added to Falkreath. My order of the odd. Stop right there. Okay. You caught me, I'll pay five gold. Smart man. Now, come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After oh, is that what it is? Did I have stolen goods on me? Light armor. Oh, okay, now that that's done, can I... Oh, that's the Jarl. That's the longhouse. I need to sell stuff. I suppose it's possible I had stolen goods on me. Maybe this is the blacksmith? Yeah, it should be. Hey bud, I got a bunch of stuff to sell. Almost none of it is stolen. Did you see a hound on the road? Fine, strong creature that's been wandering near town. I asked the gate guards to look for him. I can't afford to chase him down, but could use a fierce, loyal beast to keep me company. If you were willing to retrieve him for me, I'd give you some fresh meat to attract him out on the road. A smart man to demand something up front for his work. Some gold now and some when I have my dog. Here's the meat. Okay. Steel's good, but loyalty's better. Take a look. So I have 25 pounds of meat that I do not want to sell. <laughs> um, Target. Sell that. Sell that. Keep these. Uh, sell that. Sell all this armor. How's he doing on money? 1100.
Okay. Man, I, I've still got 311 pounds of stuff on me. I was Dengir's personal guard for years. I risked my hide more than once to protect him. Why would I do that? For money? Because I swore an oath? No. It was because he was a good man and a true friend. A true Nord places loyalty and honor above all else. All right. See me at my forge if you need arms or armor. Good to see you. Finally, someone useful is around. <laughs> Teach them to stop paying me. Here, you deserve a reward for your service. You know what? I like you. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. I hereby grant you permission to purchase property in Falkreath Hold. Talk to my steward if you're interested. All right. Farewell. So the steward, probably upstairs. I just saw her walking around. Oh, you're not the steward, are you? Legat, Legate, Imperial Detachment. I protect the Yarl, whoever that might be. Okay. I'm the steward here. I serve under Jarl Sidgir and Jarl Dengir before him. There's no house available, but I could sell you a fine piece of land where you could build your own house. Yeah. That's what we want. You won't regret it. Here's the title to your steading. Northeast of Falkreath and north of Pine Watch. Then north at the crossroads. Turn left just past Pine Watch. May wisdom forever light your path. Rock on. Okay, so, um, my horse. Is right there. What do I have on me? That weighs so much. Okay, all that I keep. Okay, there's the fresh meat. I don't want to sell that, man. I don't want to sell that. I got a staff. Mostly it's going to be this leather. I've got a lot of leather on me. I could sell these. Raw canine meat. Okay. Let's go and see if we can sell to this guy now. See anything you like. Well met. Unlike my brother, I've no di Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Okay, so, um. I should put that on. Amulet of Zenithir, and then I should drink Fortify Speech. From my shop. Can I get you something? Take a look. And move over to target. Okay, so we keep all this, all this. Maybe I'll go by category. I can sell that. Everything else I should keep. Yes. I can sell these. Keep. 
keep keep the potions no magicka no okay uh, sell the scroll keep the fresh meat sell the potatoes and sell the canine meat uh, keep all the ingredients I keep all this stuff. Items, go to the books. Um, you already know clairvoyance. Okay. Note from a corpse. If you are reading this and I am most likely dead, a group of bandits ransacked my home and took most everything. For oh, I, ha I got this a while ago. There was a family heirloom. Okay. Charter of Lakeview Manor, Manor to target his loyal friend. Grant of the Steeding of Lakeview Manor, Steading on the south shore of Lake Shinalta, east of Falkreath. Uh, okay. Be seeing you, stranger. I just kind of, I think there were a couple books I could have sold, but I'll keep everything else that I got here. Let's store what I can. Uh, you can have that, but give me back this. Okay, can we level up? Not yet. So, well, let me check quests. Miscellaneous, visit your new property. Yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to do that more than I want to do this. What's, what did that say about F? Located northeast of Falkreath. So, that way. Okay. Finally, gonna get started on Hearthfire, which I've never done before. It's kind of exciting. So as I understand it, this is the least impressive of the properties you can buy to build a home on. But when you are homeless, it's quite the step up. So what I interpret that as meaning is that it's small and not necessarily fancy but it ain't ugly. It'll be a pretty nice home. It's just small and it doesn't have, maybe it doesn't have like super cool balconies or something like that. She said when you get to Pine Watch, make a left. I don't really know where that's at. I don't think it's here, though. Oh, Pine Watch discovered. Well, okay. So, it's this direction in general? Ah, here it is.
Okay, we start Hearthfire in the rain with a possible spider assaulting us. It doesn't look like it. Oh, but we do have a mud crab. Level two. Okay, uh, quick save. Fang doll, take this thing down. It's done. Now. Okay. Again, quick save, and maybe I'll actually just create a normal save. Okay. So, we have a chest that should be empty. No, nope, they gave us some stuff. We have a workbench. Read Beginner's Guide to Homesteading. Beginner's Guide to Homesteading. If you're like most people, you're, you've always dreamed of owning your own steading and building your own home. But where to start? Never fear, you hold in your hands the guide to everything you need to know. Before long, you'll be gazing complacently across your well-tended lands from the porch of your own manor house. Getting started, there are two vital pieces of equipment that the prospective homeowner needs. The drafting table and the carpenter's workbench. Your drafting table is where you'll lay out the plans for each stage of your new house. Don't worry about making a mistake here. You can always change your mind, and making a new plan costs you nothing. Remember, measure twice and cut once. Your carpenter's workbench is where you'll do the actual construction. Once you've settled on a plan at the drafting table, you can start building your house at a carpenter's workbench. Avoid the common beginner's mistake. Don't try to build the roof without building the proper supports first. Space for the family. If you have a spouse or children, you'll certainly want to get your house in a livable state as soon as possible. Your loving spouse will no doubt make do with nothing more than a roof over her head and a bed to sleep in, but what about the children? Don't worry, all they need is a bed and a chest or dresser to store their treasures and they will be perfectly content. Okay, building materials. You will need a lot of supplies to complete your house, but it isn't necessary to gather everything you need ahead of time. Unless you're in a hurry, you can just build in stages as materials become available. You'll enjoy watching your home progress from dream to reality. The most common materials you'll need are sawn logs, cut stone, and clay. Luckily, these are plentiful in Skyrim. In fact, most building sites will have one or more easily accessible sources of clay and stone. For sawn lumber, any lumber mill owner will be glad to sell and deliver as much as you need. You'll need a lot of nails. Fortunately, even a novice blacksmith will soon find themselves turning iron into nails with ease. When you turn to furnishing your completed house, you'll need a much wider variety of materials. Some of them, such as straw and glass, are commonly obtained from general goods stores. For the rest, the whole of Skyrim will become your general store. <laughs> hiring a steward. Once your estate is well established, you may wish to consider hiring a steward to help manage your affairs. A good steward can be invaluable, from hiring a carriage driver to buying a cow to keeping you supplied with building materials, freeing you to enjoy the fruits of your labors. Before hiring a steward, it's advisable to bring a potential candidate to your manor and observe whether they are a good fit for your requirements. Remember, you are putting your entire estate into their hands, you need someone you can trust implicitly. Building your house, the rest of this guide will review plans for each room that you might want to build. Small house, before you get too ambitious, gain confidence by building this tidy cottage. 
It is the perfect starter home and might turn out to be all you need. But don't worry, if you decide to keep building, you can remodel this into an entryway to the rest of your house. My gosh. <laughs> There's our timer. Main hall. You may decide the small house is not enough. Perhaps you need room for a growing family. The next step is to add a main hall, which will turn your cottage into an imposing manor house. Two floors, including space for two bedrooms, two small bedrooms, a back room, and a large dining area. Additions. Once you've built a main hall, your options become almost unlimited. You now have room to add three more additional wings if you decide you still need more space. For each wing, you have three choices of what to build, giving a total of nine possible additions. Wow. But remember, you can only build three of them, so choose wisely. West Wing, Bedrooms. The bedroom addition is perfect if you have a family who needs more comfortable living quarters than the main hall affords. The bedroom has space for a master bedroom plus two children's beds, as well as all the dressers, wardrobes, etc. that anyone could desire. This addition also includes a spacious exterior porch. Oh, I bet that's cool. West Wing Greenhouse. Oh, we might be interested in that as an alchemist. Perhaps you are a gardener at heart? If so, the greenhouse provides room for planters where you can grow almost whatever you wish. Almost anything you wish, sheltered from Skyrim's harsh climate. Tend and harvest your crops from the comfort of your own home. West Wing Enchanter's Tower. If your interests lie in the magical realm, this tower edition is for you. Conduct your research in privacy and comfort. Plenty of space for keeping your collections and artifacts organized. And the view from the tower is guaranteed to take your breath away. North Wing Storage Room. If you simply need more space to store your many possessions and collections, build yourself a storage room. The included porch can even be connected to the porch on the east or west wings if you build the bedroom or armory additions. Oh, that's cool. North Wing Trophy Room. That's what I'm talking about. Are you a big game hunter who wants to show off your prizes? The Trophy Room provides space for displaying up to seven magnificent mounted specimens of your choice. Sure to amaze and impress your guests. North Wing Alchemy Laboratory. Okay, that's what we want. Perfect for the aspiring alchemist. This tower edition will give you plenty of space and storage to hone your craft in comfort. And when you need a break from brewing potions, enjoy the view from the tower roof. East Wing Armory. If you like nothing better than to spend a day hammering metal or are simply a collector of armor and weapons, the armory is for you. With space for smithing as well as plenty of rooms to display your martial collections in style, the armory is the perfect addition to any house. Now, that's the East Wing. I know I'm going to want that. The North Wing uh, can house the alchemy. I didn't really see... I didn't need a greenhouse, I don't think, unless it allows me to grow um, alchemy ingredients, which it very well may. I, it probably does. East Wing Kitchen. The kitchen provides everything you need to pursue the highest culinary arts. Tired of cooking everything in a pot over a fire? You can even equip it with a new newfangled oven. Wow. East Wing Library. The library tower is sure to please those who value literature. We'll probably build this. With space for all the bookshelves you could desire, you'll be able to enjoy your collection of books in style. Or perhaps take a book to the tower roof and enjoy the view of your study. And uh, I guess it looks like that. Okay. Alright, fair enough. This is going to be where we create a save point, but... Um, before uh, saving... Well, actually, I do want to save first. Save. New save. I want to see if uh, this locks the game up. I 
had to clear my throat there. Sorry about that. Still here. Okay, can you train? Nope, it locked up. So that might be a problem. Another thing that could be happening here is that he's already trained all the way as far as he can. So I'm going to try training him again whenever I level up. Because I think when I level up is when he levels up. But uh, we may not be able to access this anymore. And I am a little bit nervous because I'm seeing little bugs enter into the game and missing textures and stuff. And... Uh, I'm just worried that we have a corrupted save. Which wouldn't shock me totally since I've changed some things with the mods I was using. And, and if that's the case, what I might end up doing, if we do, I'm going to wait until I can verify all that. This might be quite a ways down the road, you know. But if we wind up having a corrupt save, I will likely wipe this chronicle off the channel and I'll just have to start over and maybe I'll do a different class of character because I, I think I mentioned a couple of episodes how since I want to do a paladin for Dawn Guard, maybe I'll play uh, an archer. if I have to restart this one. So it's just an idea. It's, I mean, there's lots of flexibility there. Um, I don't really have necessarily any regrets or anything. And uh, there's uh, lots of things I can come up with probably for a viable Dawn Guard build too. But we'll just, I'm just thinking out loud and putting it on the table of um, what do we do if this is a corrupted save? But, uh, but I'm not thinking that it is just yet. This is the only problem I've run into besides some missing textures. I'm going to I think I'm going to try reloading SMIM and see if that fixes the uh, missing textures that I saw over there at the bandit camp that we went to. But I guess we'll sign it off right there. Uh, let's see the timer all went, already went off. So again, I am Aesop Grim. Thank you for coming by this channel and I will see you in the next episode where this story continues. Thanks for visiting Aesop Grimm's Chronicles. If you've made it this far in the video, please consider rating, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. I hope to see you in the next episode, and until then, stay shiny.